around 3,000 people take part in Napier's annual Iron Māori Triathlon. We'll follow the fortunes of one whānau. Let's go and meet them. Tell us about strategies. Oh, strategies. Now that you met them all, let's see how they are coping. There's no rest if you want to be an Iron Māori. Let's get up early and get yourself sorted. The first competitors are starting at 6.30. A nervous tension permeates the air. Hopefully I don't die today. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not rescued, that's the goal. Help! <laughs> We've worked long and hard for this. Sort of. <laughs> Some of us. Although others are confident. I'm ready. I'm ready. Got this. Got this. I'll probably be excited later though. Why are you tired? Because it's like it's um five. It's like five thirty in the morning. Could be wrong. I could be right. The athletes are off, with the spectators right behind them. So let's get this straight about how everything works. Theon and Nathan are competing as individuals which means they each have to run, swim and bike. Cousins Jordan, Nephi and Tiara are a team. They will each do a separate leg. So Tiara will swim, Nephi will cycle and Jordan will run. The distances are all the same as the individuals though. However, they compete on a combined time, so it's not a relay. The starting times are based around the ease of organisation. Look, the team cyclists are already getting ready. Nephi better get a wriggle on, or he might be late. Well I missed the cyclist starting in order to get up close. Guess who had bike problems and came out dead last. Anyway, the individuals are the glamour event, and they are being led out by a local warrior. You can hear the wind blasting into the microphone. It's going to play a big factor today, especially for the cyclists. And the Iron Maldives are off. This first group with the red caps on, these are the serious competitors. Dion and Nathan are part of the Those Competing Against Themselves group, currently entering the water. Note to self, bring the tripod the next time. So apologies for some shaky pictures. Two kilometres is the equivalent of three times around Pandora Pond. I can't help but to think about the baby turtles and those wildlife doggos. After one lap, there's a little 20 metre run. I'm not sure what the purpose is, whether it is to give people a break or, more likely, to make it easy to keep track of your laps. There is soon a flood of people passing through and supporters are in full voice. And if your mates are in the right spot, it's a convenient drinks break. I'm not sure where Dion and Nathan are, but check out these hardy folk. There was about three or four people without wetsuits. The front runners, or swimmers I should say, are soon onto their bikes, with 90 kilometres of hard grind to look forward to. Ricky Harvakim, Flavorson, Steve Jews, Nazi Peru, just getting ready to head out of transition. I want to ride my... Dion go past, Nathan first and then Dion go past and now we're waiting for them to do the Good to see Dion and Nathan are at least in the middle of the pack because there's still a whole bunch yet to emerge.
Jordan and Tiara appear to be having a detailed strategic discussion. While the marshals reorganise the course, we're all headed back to the car. Zach and Mickey had just woken up, and Tiara and Jordan are deep in mental preparation. Try not to get rescued by the paddleboard guys. <laughs> if, you're, if you're in trouble though, that's what he said. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they won't see you with your well, arm. goal is not to be in trouble? Yeah, yeah, your goal is to avoid trouble. Try to get under an hour. Personal vest. <laughs> On the day. Aim for Lifting on the day. <laughs> I'm just gonna have my hydrate electrolyte sports drink. Oh yeah. It's <coughs> free from Iron Maldi. And I'm also candy. wearing my Beyonce singlet for motivation. And I'm very good at visualizing oh. the finish line. So that's about it. Because <laughs> there was no real training done. So <laughs> my it's all mental. Yeah, mental toughness is my strategy. It's a secret weapon, eh? That's all I've got. Here's the finish line Jordan has to visualise. While the swimmers get themselves ready, let's have a look around. And here they come. Each competitor has some type of timer that is activated as they pass through the gates. This allows everyone to get their correct time, no matter which order they started in. And there goes Tiara, scything his way through the water, like a hot knife through butter. After three laps, the competitors still have to run around to the finish line. Not quite the strong finish Jordan and Nephi would be hoping for, but he still looks pretty happy. Didn't, uh, didn't have to get saved, reach my goals. Probably Renault. half an hour next year. <laughs> Now's the time to heal the wounds. Wetsuit chafing is never much fun. So the problem with wetsuits is they uh, make them for like long legs. Meanwhile, Jordan is focusing deep into her mental toughness, preparing herself for the 21k run ahead. Have you ran with that before? Um, not with the straight, but I was the iPad. Do you have to say to your sister, Mickey? Good luck. Uh, no, you need more conviction when you say it, yeah. thanks. Good luck. <laughs> Time to move. Jordan's about to start, Nephi will be back soon, and as will Dion and Nathan. And in classic fashion, I have missed the starting of the runners. This course is not really set up for camera people. Oh well, that's my excuse anyway. The runners have four laps to complete. And here comes Jordan on her first. Go Jordy! Alright, go grab your... I'm actually feeling okay now. I was feeling dead at the season so I finished mine. So Nephi is in, and he's looking pretty fresh. Let's see how Jordan's doing. Mental oh, toughness. She is dying. I think she can run a bit better though. <laughs> yeah, it's hard on the concrete. Comments about your teammate? Huh? Comments about your teammate? Ah, oh, she needs to pick her up, I'm honest. Me and Tiara gave her a fighting chance. <laughs> The team down. Maybe it's time for some uplifting music. Dion and Nathan have finished the cycling too, so they are now on the running circuit. Well done, 
Jordan is now in recovery mode. Leg. I think I did really well for no training, and I think my strategy of mental toughness worked. And his bike fell apart, so he's like. was it like coming last out of the gate? Huh? It was it like coming last out of the gate? It was good not coming last out of the finish line. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was probably better than. Yeah, I know what to say. <laughs> Nathan and Dion are on their last laps. And finally it's all over. <laughs> and <laughs> too tired to actually talk. Uh, I have to lean up on this thing because I was fall over otherwise. Uh, that was probably the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. Uh, I'm completely shagged. Eh? So, what's news? I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> That's Iron Mouldy Napier, 2013. Full credit to all the competitors, organisers and supporters. See you all next year. And while you wait, let's listen to some cheesy music.